Bunny Bones by Janet and Alan Allberg. This is how the story begins. On a dark, dark hill, there was a dark, dark town. In the dark, dark town, there was a dark, dark street. In the dark, dark street, there was a dark, dark house. In the dark, dark house, there was a dark, dark staircase. Down the dark, dark staircase, there was a dark, dark cellar. And in the dark, dark cellar, some skeletons lived. There was a big skeleton, a little skeleton and a dog skeleton. One night, the big skeleton sat up in bed. He scratched his skull. What shall we do tonight, he said. Let's take the dog for a walk, said the little skeleton. And frighten somebody. Good idea, the big skeleton said. So the big skeleton, the little skeleton and the dog skeleton left the dark, dark cellar, climbed the dark, dark staircase and stepped out into the dark, dark street. They walked past the houses and the shops. They walked past the zoo and the police station. They went into the park. The big skeleton scratched his skull. What shall we do now, he said. Let's play on the swing, said the little skeleton and throw a stick for the dog and frighten somebody. Good idea, the big skeleton said. So the big skeleton, the little skeleton and the dog skeleton walked round the dark, dark pond, past the dark, dark tennis courts and up to the dark, dark swings. The big skeleton and the little skeleton played on the swings. They threw a stick for the dog. Suddenly something happened. The dog skeleton chased the stick, tipped over a park bench, bumped into a tree, woof, and ended up as a little pile of bones. Look at that, the big skeleton said. He's all come to pieces. What shall we do now? Let's put him back together again, the little skeleton said. So the big skeleton and the little skeleton put the dog skeleton together again. They sang a song while they did it. The toe bone's connected to the foot bone. The foot bone's connected to the leg bone. The leg bone's connected to the hip bone. The hip bone's connected to the back bone. Then they got mixed up. Is that a toe bone? The little skeleton said. Where does this one go? Said the big skeleton. Woof, woof, woof. When they had finished, the big skeleton said, Hmm, that dog looks a bit funny to me. So he does, said the little skeleton. We've got his tail on the wrong end and his head. Foo, said the dog skeleton. At last, the dog was properly put back together again. The big skeleton and the little skeleton sang another song. These bones, these bones can... Bark again, can run around in the park again, can frighten people in the dark again. The big skeleton scratched his skull. That reminds me, he said. We forgot to frighten somebody. Let's do it on the way home then, said the little skeleton. Good idea, the big skeleton said. I wish we had a nice little boy to frighten. I wish we had a nice old lady. So the big skeleton, the little skeleton and the dog skeleton left the dark, dark swings, went out into the dark, dark town and tried to frighten somebody. The trouble was, there wasn't anybody. Everybody was in bed. Even the policemen in the police station were in bed. Even the animals in the zoo. Of course, the skeleton animals were awake. Squeak, 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 squeak. Snort. Wink. Gee up, Nelly. Good evening, all. Who's a cheeky boy, then? Have a cup of tea. Pretty Polly, put the kettle on, Mother. Let's have a ride on the elephant skeleton, the little skeleton said. Let's have a word with the parrot skeleton. The big skeleton scratched his skull. Let's... 
Keep out of the way of the crocodile skeleton, he said. When they were back in the street, and when they still could not find anybody to frighten, the big skeleton said, What shall we do now? The little skeleton scratched his skull. Let's frighten each other, he said. That's, be that's better than nothing. Good idea, the big skeleton said. I'm coming to get you. Gotcha! So, after that, the big skeleton frightened the little skeleton. The little skeleton frightened the big skeleton. The big skeleton and the little skeleton frightened the dog skeleton. And the dog skeleton frightened them. Boo! Meow! Woof! Ooh! Help! Yelp! They hid round corners and frightened each other. They climbed up lampposts and frightened each other. They jumped out of dustbins and frightened each other. All the way home. And that is how the story ends. On a dark, dark hill, there was a dark, dark town. In the dark, dark town, there was a dark, dark street. In the dark, dark street, there was a dark, dark house. In the dark, dark house, there was a dark, dark staircase. Down the dark, dark staircase, there was a dark, dark cellar. In the dark, dark cellar, some skeletons lived. And they still do.